The new Workspace Manager from DevExpress is an easy way to manage your application layouts. Here I have a demo that uses several DevExpress controls in one module. The Bar Manager with Main Menu Bar and Regular Toolbar. The Nav Bar Control inside the Toolbox Dock Panel docked to the application's left edge. Another Dock Panel, Output, provided by the Dock Manager component that's docked to the application's bottom. Two dock panels, Properties and Solution Explorer, docked into a tabbed group. The Document Manager, which has four documents you can see in the central application area. And the Grid Control, displayed by the Analyzed Report document. All these controls have methods that allow you to save and restore their current layouts, but that's probably not enough. It would be way better to have the opportunity to save and restore the layouts, not for individual controls, but the entire application. For this, we'll use the Workspace Manager. Start by dropping the Workspace Manager component on the form. For my component, I'll add a button in my main menu bar that will display available layouts. Click Add and select the Bar Workspace menu item to add a bar item associated with your Workspace Manager. Let's leave all default values and run the app. You can see our Workspaces button that currently has only one option, Capture Workspace. This option makes a snapshot of your current layout and allows you to return the layout to this checkpoint at any time. Let's capture this layout and call it Default. Then I'll make some adjustments. After that, click the Workspaces button and select the default option to restore the layout. The Bar Workspace menu item can display more options. To do so, set its Show Save Load Commands property to True. If we run the application now, you'll see additional options, Save and Load Layout. These allow you not only to make a snapshot that will be kept only until the app is closed, but also to save layouts to files that can be reused later. Using these XML files that contain your application markup, you can create predefined workspaces that will be available to your end users right after the application is loaded. To do so, use the Workspace Manager.load Workspace method. It loads a workspace from file and places it to the workspaces collection under the specific name. Here, in this code sample, I load three workspaces that would be called Default Workspace, Performance Analyze, and Compare Documents. If I run the app now, you can see that these workspaces are already up and ready. When it's done, you can set the show save load commands back to false, so your end users will be limited to using only your predefined layouts and will not be able to save or load their custom workspaces. You've probably noticed that animation effects follow when switching between different workspaces. You can change the animation type using the transition type property. For certain animation types, you can set additional parameters. For instance, you can select the shape animation from the circle in and circle out effects. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.